Okay, so today we are going to discuss about uh, pi test. So what is pi test? How we can install the pi test? And how do we use the pi test? And finally, the importance of uh, pi test. Okay, so let's talk about uh, what is pi test and its futures. Okay, so pi test is a Python testing framework. If you want to write the test such a way that you can able to execute them properly, you can able to validate your test, you can able to run your test in parallel. Okay, so you can use pi test. And it can be used to write various types of software tests such as uh, unit test, developers can use unit test, integration test, end-to-end -end test, and functional test. It features includes parameterized testing and fixtures. And using PyTest, you can also do validations. Right? You created a test. For example, the test is the login should be successful. That is a test. Okay, so the login should be successful. So for that, what you do, you write a uh, script to open the browser, to open the URL, enter the username, enter the password, click on submit. And once you do the submit, it should go to the next page. You can say the dashboard page, or you can say account summary page, or you can say home page. Okay, so it you should be successfully logged in. That you need to validate. Every test must be validated. Every test must be asserted. You clicked on the submit. If you don't validate the login is successful, there is no point of creating a test. So you need to make sure once you perform certain certain steps, okay. Steps are nothing but input. Once you given an input, there should be expected output. The expected output, you need to validate it. And PyTest also allows running the test in parallel. You can run multiple tests in parallel. You can run five tests in parallel or 10 tests in parallel. Okay, so that you can reduce the execution time. Okay. The PyTest program looks like this. Okay. So every function must be start with test, T-E-S-T, -E test. Okay, after that, after the test, you can give any name, doesn't matter. Okay, but every function must start with test. Then only that particular function will be considered for execution. Okay, so let's do uh, some exercise on that. Okay, fine. So uh, now let's talk about uh, how to install the PyTest in our uh, PyCharm for a selected project. Okay, so uh, yeah, select the Selenium project. Select the project. Now on the right hand side, you can see settings. Can you click on the settings? And then uh, settings, yes. Okay, so Python interpreter. You can see the Python project. This is the Python project, Selenium project. Okay, for this Selenium project, uh, click on the Python interpreter. Okay, and then click on the plus icon. Type PyTest. Select PyTest. Select the specific version. That's 7.4.0 is the latest version of PyTest. Yeah. So specify the version first. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, now you can see. So you can go to any particular version that you wanted to go. Okay, so for now we are going with the latest version. So click on the specify version.
and then install package click on install package wait for a moment the package pytest installed successfully now close all this uh, pop ups let's uh, follow the instructions okay so um, there are total one two three four there are total four tests that are written here okay so the first one is uh, test square root and the second one is uh, test multiplication okay so in the test multiplication you can see that uh, line number nine assert seven into seven so what is the output of seven into seven 49 right 7 into yes. 7 is 49 is 49 equal to 40 true or false 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 if it is false the test case should pass or fail fail it's false okay the test case must be fail okay so yeah. next test equality 10 equal to 11 True or false? False. Fail. Okay. Test non equality. 10. Uh, yeah. When I say test non equality, uh, I should say 10 not equal to 11, right? Yeah. So 10 not equal to 11, true or false? True. True, okay. And um, square root of uh, 25. So square root is nothing but, so we must we must have studied the square root in our um, uh, school uh, schooling time, right? Square root of 25, the answer is actually five. The answer is five, okay. So it is true. Total out of four test cases, how many are passing? How many are failing? Two pass, two fail. Two pass, two fail. Okay. So let's make sure that. Let's run this code and make sure two pass, two fail. We can do right click here and then run Python test. Now we can see. So total three tests have executed. Okay, out of three, one has passed and two are failed. Okay, so test multiplication has failed. That is obvious, 49 equal to 40. So that's a fail. Test equality, 10 equal to 11, obviously. That's a fail. Okay, but total four tests, right? Why it is showing only three tests? Any reason? In the pi test, every test must start with test. Okay. It's just test. It's not just T yes. Okay. So the test T is missing. The moment you do that, it will show the green button. Okay. Okay. So after test, you can start with underscore or whatever it is, doesn't matter. But the test symbol must be there. Okay. Okay. So that's the reason. Purposefully, I have given TAS to tell you the importance of starting a test with TEST. Okay. Now let's run the code again. Better let's select everything and do run. Yeah. Now all the four has executed. Two are passed. Two are failed. So test multiplication has failed. Why? 49 not equal to 40. That is why it has failed. Okay. So expected, we are expecting 40. Here you can see that. We are expecting 40. But is what, what is actual? 7 to 49. 7, 49. Okay. Test equality. Okay. So we are expecting 11. Okay. But what is actual? 10. So when there is, when there is a difference in expected and actual obviously your test will fail yeah and if you want to export your test 
select the test result, the top one, and then click on the three dots. You can see that export test results. You can export the test results to a HTML. Okay. So you can give whatever the name you wanted to give. Results1.html. So in this folder, Selenium project folder, the HTML file gets created. Okay. You can also export into XML or you can also export into a custom XSL template. Okay. So let's uh, export the stuff into the HTML. Make sure there are no spaces. Okay. And then you can do, uh, yeah, the moment you export it, you can see that the results uh, one.html. Yeah, you have to open in a browser, then only it will show. Open in browser, okay. And what browser? Let's choose Chrome. Okay. So it is giving the complete details. There are four total tests, two failed, two passed, and the time of execution is 12 milliseconds. Okay. And test square root is passed. Okay, and test multiplication is failed because 49 not equal to 40. And test equality also failed, 10 not equal to 11. And test non-equality has passed. Okay, so it will give you the complete information. So that's about uh, PyTest.